a little lost when I had kids in the sense where I was like, I don't really know how to do that job and be other people. What was it for you, may I ask? Yeah, I felt, I actually didn't feel lost. I felt very clear, but then I felt lost, if that makes sense. Then when it was like the cliche of like, okay, well, who am I now mm -hmm. after, you know, the kids can survive on their own. I mean, they're only eight and 10, but you know what I mean? They're, they don't need me every second, you it's know? It's different, it evolves. It's a little different, but I, um, I, I love talking to my girls about anything. So I, I feel very fulfilled. So we had the same dial head coach who uh, said, you guys should meet. And I said, oh, you know, she said, she's an actress. So I did what you do, which is to Google, Google someone. Right. Saw a photo and I said, yep, I'll have, I'll have her phone number. <laughs> She's, uh, she's, she's, she's pretty. <laughs> and then uh, we went out on a date and um, the rest is history. You discovered she was pretty on the inside. On the inside, that's right, yeah. I didn't even get to that part of the story. Because I, that's what I always say to my daughters, where is it the most important to be beautiful? Absolutely. No, on the inside. She, she turned but up on a motorbike on our... On a motorcycle. On, the, on our first date, yeah, she turned up on a motorcycle. Wait, was she driving it? She was riding it. No. Yeah, she, she turned up a motorcycle and I thought, oh, cool, she's adventurous. And, and, uh, and that's kind of, that sort of set the stage for most of our relationship. For the fantasy of yeah, that could be a reality? Adventure. Yeah, you motorbike, she surf, she'll snowboard and, and ski and train and ride horses. And so, and I'm active, you know, and that's why our kids are busy, busy humans as well. That was the most beautiful interview I've ever seen. Ever. Oh my God. Mm. That was so beautiful. I I'm a forever changed person because of what your daughter put into the world. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, it's so good to see you. Have you taken some sexy time hiatuses? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think, well, it allows you to focus and then when you go out with people, you go out with different intentions because you're not uh, looking for that. What are you looking for? And do you know what you're looking for? Yeah, well, just real friendship. When we get past, like, I think we have to develop the foundation of the relationship is friendship. Yeah. I think as soon as sex is introduced, everything changes. And most importantly, expectations. I don't I do to my, we, none of us do to our friends what we would do to a lover. Right, and those expectations change from the woman. Now, let's, let's be... Be real about that. It, uh, they do. Not for the man, because the man will still be in friend zone, in his head. That's true. Oh, he's doing additional stuff. That's true. OK, but then <laughs> why does the man sleep with the woman if they just want to be friends? Because it's good. <laughs> and this is like, you know, before you buy a car, sometimes you want to test drive. I was thinking about it on the way over here, going, oh my gosh, it's been 23 20. years since we filmed it. But how I, crazy is that? Doesn't it feel in some ways like a lifetime and also yesterday. like a flash? Yes. The scene with you in the bikini was, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> oh my God. I, I mean, I will never forget the phenomenon of that. It was, I was, I, all I remember is begging him not to shoot my butt. <laughs> I don't know why that was my obsession. Um, I mean, you know, he called me to start shooting three and a half weeks. So Mike I had- G, the director? Yes, and I had no time to think about what I looked like, which was almost better. By the way, no one can do in three weeks what you show up with, so you yeah. are clearly <laughs> good to go.